Happy month of April, Capricorn. Happy month of April. This is your astral tarot reading for the month of April. And let me just say, very interesting month for you. Well, you know, there has been a major shift with your ruler, major shift with your ruler, Saturn. Saturn is now in your, uh, is now in your house of the mind, making you more disciplined in terms of your thoughts. It's bringing more, uh, ability to focus and concentrate and not be so scattered that you are able to get some major things done mentally. It is also making you think differently about the people that you communicate with and that you socialize with. You become more serious. You become more boss-like. You know, it's not that you want to deal with frivolous, you know, conversations or frivolous relationships anymore. Saturn will allow you to formulate stronger relationships with people, to realize the worth of those around you, and to let go of situations or people that are just not meaning you well. You can let go of them, even though you may be emotionally attached to them. If they do not mean you well, you will definitely be able to move away from them. Okay, so yes, Capricorn, I have four decks of tarot cards and I am going to send a message to you. I'm not going to send a message. The spirit is going to send a message to you from each deck of cards. And let's just start with the first deck. Let's see what the first message is for you. The first message. The first message is break through the tension. Break through the tension. Okay, so let me ask you something, Capricorn, you know, what kind of tensions have been happening? I know that since your ruler has shifted from your second house, there's been a lot of financial tensions <laughs> because Saturn is the hard, you know, is a disciplined planet. It is the no nonsense planet. It is a planet that does not let you play, that you will learn lessons behind playing and messing over your money. So have there been tensions with your finances? Well, it's time to break through the tensions because now that you know your ruler has shifted, it's in your house of the mind, you can have better thinking. This is what I need to focus on, more discipline in terms of your habits. What is it what is it that I need to, you know, what um, you know, um foolishness do I need to rid out of my life? Do I spend my time doing insignificant things or do I need to be studying? creating something better for my future, building relationships with people that are more serious minded about their lives. So it is time to break through the tensions. Okay. And this is going to be very, very interesting because black planet Mercury, the planet of thought and communication is going to be, uh, entering your house of, uh, creativity. Wow. 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 So we were just talking about financial t tensions, you know, possible financial tensions. And if there has been financial tensions, guess what? Mercury is going to be there to give you some thoughts about a creative project that can actually bring some money or creativity that can bring some fulfillment or some joy into your life that can build some bridges with people that are, uh, that are creative that you can build some relationships with pe people that are fun and that you can get away from the tensions. Maybe the tensions are that you are not having enough fun in your life. All right. That you work too hard or that you are too serious about certain things and it's just not happening. You know, sometimes you can over worry about something that's just not going to manifest. And sometimes you got to learn how to let it go. Well, Mercury enters into your house of creativity, also your house of romance. We're going to talk about that a little later. And it's going to go retrograde in terms of, um, on the 21st, in terms of maybe bringing back a dream that you once had. So we will talk about that. But Mercury, the planet of thought and communication is going to be strong in your, your uh, house of creativity this month. And it's going to let you think about a few things that you may have forgotten. Okay. So let's see what the second deck of cards, let's see what the second message might be for you. The second message, let's see what that second message is. Second message is, oh, lovers. Mm. Okay. Lovers. Wow. What is going on in your love life? Your love life might need more attention or somebody that you, you're with, you know, may need more attention. Let's get more information on this card. 
Let me give you three more cards to get some clarity, to get a better understanding of what's going on. Okay. All right. So this card right here is a card saying that somebody around you may not be honest. There may not be honesty in your love relationship. So when it's reversed like this, it means that somebody, you know, may be hiding something, hiding a truth, hiding their feelings, not being forthright about how they feel about you. It's because, you know, or they think certain things about you that's not true. They may be listening to information about you that's not true. They may be associated with someone you don't want them to be associated with. Maybe they're talking to one of your girlfriend, your friends, girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, friend, friend. And, you know, they are, uh, you know, behind your back seeking or getting information and it's without your knowledge. So there's something going on regarding communication around a love relationship or somebody that you are emotionally attached to. This card right here means disappointment. So there's been some disappointments in your life and it's time to stop being disappointed. If you are in a love relationship that's not bringing you fulfillment, time to walk away. Time to walk away. And, you know, the thing is that you cannot stay in the past for so long. You can't cry for so long. You have to, yes, take account of what happened. How did it happen? How did I allow this to happen to me? What were the circumstances around it? Yeah, get clarity. But don't dwell there. Don't dwell in hurt and pain. You got to get past it. And this card, right side up, means happiness alone and happiness with your the fruits of your labor. Happy with your money. Happy being by yourself, enjoying your solitude. And this card means that you may not be the type of person that likes to be alone. That one of the reasons why you are in, you know, maybe toxic relationships, friendships, uh, partnerships, is that you don't like to be alone. I know that there are certain people who can't even go out to a restaurant by themselves. It's like, I got to have somebody to go with. I got to have, I can't go by myself. And I say, yes, I can. <laughs> I can go anywhere I want to by myself. I can go, you know, shopping by myself, eating by myself, even go out to a club by myself. I don't have to have anybody. I don't have to have an escort. I'm not a child. You know, I don't have to have company around me all the time. And if you are the type of person who is uncomfortable going out and about in the world, that's something that you may want to reevaluate because, you know, sometimes people are not av uh, 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 available all the time. When you're ready to go, they're not ready to go. And you just need to get up and go and do some things for yourself. Okay. Now, let me just say this to you. The full moon is going to bring some information about your work situation on the 6th. I have to ask you a question, Capricorn. What is going on with your job? What's going on with your job? You know, your career. There's going to be more attention to your career path. You know, are you on the right career path? Do you want to change direction in your career? Now, the full moon is a card of revelation and enlightenment. You can be enlightened to something that's happening on your job that can take you into a different direction or enlightened in terms of the fact that I don't like this career path and I want to do something different or work some other place or work with other people. So there can be a change regarding your career, you know, it could be a little stressful, you know, you know, this like um, something needs to get your attention. It may come through stress or guess what? Secret something has been withheld from you regarding your career, regarding your job can come forward, can come forward. And you will be getting some information that is really pertinent to you regarding your career situation. All right. Okay. So let's just see what the third deck of cards, the third message is coming your way. Let's see what that third message is, that third message. Let's see, the third message is not for you. The third message is not for you. You know, some things that we want in our lives, they're just not for us. It could be a person, it can be a thing, it can be a situation. You know, we grab, we wish, we hope, and it's just not for you. You keep reaching for it and it's not there. How many times do you have to pray for something and you don't and you don't get it? I don't believe in praying for the same thing over and over. I pray for a thing once or twice, and if it does not manifest, first of all, you don't you can't dictate God's time. You have to wait for God to do things in his own time. If it's meant for you at all. No is an answer as well. If you don't get it, it's because you, it's because you don't, it's not for you. Something better is coming. 
You have to learn how to let go of things that you keep hoping and wishing for if they are not coming your way and not manifesting for you. Not for you. Realize when something is not for you, stop wasting your time, stop wasting your tears, stop wasting your energy on doors that are closed. If the door is closed, it is a reason for the door being closed. Respect it. Respect a closed door. A closed door means it is not for you. All right? So let's talk about situations that you are going to enjoy. You know, we, we're talking about closed doors. Well, listen, there could be an open door regarding your work situation on the 11th as Venus, the planet of money and socialize, go into your work situation. Time for more money, Capricorn. Time for more money. Now, we were talking about career and you may decide that you want to change careers, but maybe it's time for you to look for a situation where you make more money. Also, it is a time for you to, um, you know, seek a, a job with this promotion. Also socializing with people on the job. You know, don't get buddy buddy. I'm saying, get, you know, you can get friendly. You know, you can have friendly coworkers. You know, you don't tell them all your personal business. It ain't none of their business, your personal business. But, you know, you chit-chat and, you know, you're friendly with people. So this could be a good time for you to get closer to your boss. Maybe getting closer to your boss may bring, you know, some favor in terms of, you know, this person is not such a bad person. Let me give them a try some, with some extra overtime. This is the time for you to also take a look at your health. What's going on with your health? Venus represents sugar. Okay, are you getting too much sugar or sweets in your life? You know, time to cut it down because that will bring fat. Although we, you know, we love that sugar. But be careful with sugar because it can bring a, a, a gain of weight. And that may be something that you're not really looking forward to, especially because the weather is changing. Now, listen, a little sugar during the winter is just good because you got those heavy clothes on. But this time of the year, people are trying to slim down. So if you're trying to slim down, Try to be very careful of the sugar. One little thing. Also, a coworker on your job can get a little crush on you. So we're going to see what happens with that. A little crush on you. All right? So love can enter into your life. Now, either through a coworker, I'm not suggesting that. Bad move. Bad move. Or you can go uh, on your way to work or, you know, and transit to work and run into somebody that you really like. All right? Or if you're in a partnership, you and your partner will work harder at trying to keep the relationship together, which is even better. All right. Which is even better. Wonderful. I have to, uh, you know, kind of warn you about one little thing is that on the 20th, there is going to be a solar eclipse in your uh, family home situation. Now, solar eclipses uh, in, in this case could be a little stressful. Because solar eclipses can start or start, start, start or stop something quickly. If you are having some problems in your home, your household, something may happen and you decide, I've had enough and I'm out of here. Or I've had enough and I'm moving. Or I've had enough of talking with this person. They're going to have to get out of my face or out of my house. Or you've had enough of looking at that furniture and you start giving things away to the Salvation Army. Okay, it could be some sort of trigger. Also, it can bring some attention to a family issue that you're tired, or, uh, tired of dealing with and you are going to deal with it on the 20th or after the 20th because you want resolution and you want peace in your household with your family members. Okay, yes. All right, so let's see what this fourth deck of tarot cards. Let's see what the fourth deck, the message the fourth deck is bringing to you and the fourth message is oh beyond illusion beyond illusion so this, this is it beyond illusion actually means that you can manifest something in your life you know you dream about something and then you start working on it what is it that you want to bring into your life so this is very interesting remember the mercury retrograde the planet mercury it is going to be retrograde but it is going to be in your house of creativity so your creative energy is going to be very strong this month, very strong this month. And remember I had said earlier about some dream, a goal that you had in the past that you let go. You may decide to pick up a dream, a goal, or something that you wanted to do or aspire to. Some creative opportunity can definitely uh, come your way. And you may want to go after it. You may want to go after it. Okay? Very, very interesting. Beyond illusion. So you dream it and you try to make it work. All right. Now, I have some very interesting things to add to your reading. 
And one of those things is, is that there's going to be a new moon in your house of creativity. And also that same house, that same sector is the house of romance. Okay. New moon, new direction of love, romance. Wow. So are you in a love relationship? If not, you can find someone after the 20th. Woo! But I want to warn you, don't move too fast in a new relationship. And that is because the Mercury retrograde starts on the 21st, the day after, and that can mess things up. But it's a real good time to have conversations and get information. People will tell you things during the retrograde that they normally don't tell you. You know, you can ask them, you meet somebody on a, on a dating, you know, a dating app, and you ask them, are you in a relationship? And they'll just tell you, uh, no, no, you know, normal. No, I just got out of something. But during the retrograde, if they still playing around with their partners, they can say, well, I'm kind of in and out. <laughs> something that's going to, that's going to bring a red flag. So you can, during this, this, uh, during the 20th with the new moon, you know, if you are dating, looking for a new relationship, look for red flags. Okay. If you are in a relationship, good, good, good idea for you and your partner to do some different things, to bring some more excitement and romance in your life. Let's go different places, experience different things together. Now, the interesting thing is also on the same day, the 20th, the sun will enter into your house of love and romance and creativity. And oh my boy, oh my God, you're going to have such a good time. There's going to be an abundance, an abundance of all kinds of creativity coming your way, whether it's a project or regarding romance, there's going to be some ventures coming. So new adventures and you're going to enjoy either meeting somebody new or taking the person that you are with and having some new adventures. It's going to be wonderful. I want to warn you about one little thing, one little thing that Mercury retrograde in your house of creativity and romance can bring back old relationships, old love. Somebody has you on their mind because Mercury's about communication. They're going to try to get in touch with you in some kind of way. They want to know how you're doing. I'm, you know, or they may want to make amends and say they're sorry. So don't be surprised if you start hearing from people from your past uh, during the Mercury retrograde, old loves, you know, uh, people that you've had emotional relationships with. And, you know, they may want to just resolve things, close the door, or they may want another try. So this is going to be a month of contact regarding love, romance, work situations, a look at your career path, and also to be, be aware that you may be bringing some changes in your household regarding your household, regarding your family members. So Capricorn, have a wonderful month of April. And if you want a more in-depth uh, reading, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.